Hey guys, and welcome back. So let's now take what we've learned about YAML as well as what we've learned about our Ansible modules and now let's create an Ansible playbook. So what I'm going to do here is to Google for Cisco iOS, okay? Now what we actually have here is a list of all the Cisco iOS modules that are part of the Cisco iOS collection. Now the old way to use a module was just to specify the module itself. So in this case here, if we're using iOS underscore banner, we would just say iOS underscore banner. The newer way though, is to also prepend this module with the name of the collection. So the name of the collection in this case happens to be cisco.ios. So when we're using the module, let me just show you here, as opposed to just saying iOS banner, because that's the name of the module, we also want to prepend that with the name of the collection. So we would say cisco.ios dot, and then the name of the module. So we have collection, then module. So just be aware of this recent change. So now let's go down to this module then, we'll say iOS banner. Now, before you actually use these modules, you want to make sure that you actually have this collection. So this would be the Cisco iOS collection. So we can use this command Ansible Galaxy collection list. So let's just paste this in and we can see all the collections we have available to us. Now, as we can see here, I actually have Cisco iOS. So that collection is there. Therefore, all the modules within this collection are available to me. However, if you don't happen to have this collection, then you could just say, Ansible Galaxy collection install and then give the name of the collection. So let's paste this in and hit enter. So it'll go through the process, but as I know, this is already installed for me. And it says here, already installed. And again, just as I was saying, notice here to use in a playbook, this is how we use it. We specify the collection and then the name of the module. So we can see here from the choices, the parameter banner is required as a string value. And the choices we have available is Basically, what type of banner do we want to configure? Is it the login banner, the message of the day, the exec banner, so on and so forth. So I'm going to take this information and write a playbook with it, okay? So within my folder, I'll create a file just called maybe bannerconf.yaml and let's open this up, so a bannerconf. So what I'll do here is my three hyphens because it is a YAML file, this is best practice. And then I'm going to say name. This is going to be the name of my playbook and I'll just say my banner playbook. So now I'll go into spaces and I'll specify the host. Let me just target my all group. Then I'll say gather fact. I'll have this false. Remember we'll use lowercase f for boolean values. And I will say the connection is going to be the network CLI connection. So now typically with an Ansible, we're going to specify our task. Now because we can potentially have more than one task, we want to specify it as a list. So we'll do one, two, and then their hyphen because it's a list value. And I'll specify the name of this task. And I'll just say configure MOTD banner. And now what I'm going to do is to do my two spaces and I'm going to specify the name of the collection I'm going to use, which is cisco.ios. And I'm going to use the iOS underscore banner module. So if I hit return within this, we're going to specify some of our parameters. So we will say our banner is going to be an MOTD banner. And another parameter is going to be the text. This is a text we want to send. We can see here that the argument requires state equals present. So we'll remember to add that which is this part here. And because I'm writing the multi-line, I'll just use my pipe. And again, indented within two spaces so that we are part of this text parameter. I'll just say this is my banner for all of my devices in the network. Now remember this parameter text requires that the state happens to be present. And what we want to do is to effectively capture the output of what we use within this banner module. So I'm going to go out to the same level of indentation as Cisco iOS iOS banner and I'll just use the register module to make this value my banner and now I'll outdent back to the same level as the module right here and we'll use the debug module. This is going to effectively be the second task we're using and I'll just say the variable I want to print out is the my banner that we're capturing with the register module. So if I save this, what Ansible should do is use this module here to target the all group within my inventory, i.e. my three devices. And I'm going to configure this banner on all three devices and then I'll capture the output and then print that output. Okay, so let's save this and we'll try running banner conf then. So I'll say Ansible playbook and I'll say banner conf and hit enter. And we can see those three devices have changed and debug has printed out the actual configuration here. If I go to my devices now, so if for example, I go to R3 and hit enter, we can see here we actually have the banner here. The same again, we'll be on R2. Hit enter. 
There's the banner, as well as R1. Hit enter. And again, we can modify this. Let's say we want to change the host to my USA group, and I'll just change the message to in the USA group. So that means that device R3 will be left alone. We save you, but device R1 and R2, they should be updated. So let's run the playbook once again. And as we can see here, R1 and R2 have been targeted. R3 has been left alone. If we go into R1, let's escape, and we'll hit return. We see the new banner here for the USA. Let's go into R2. Hit escape and then return. We see the new banner again, USA. Put an R3. We escape. Hit return. That's been left untouched and still has the old banner. So this really is the way to learn how to use Ansible. It's key to understand how YAML works, what are the constraints, how do we format this data, as well as learning how to understand the different modules that we have available to us. And like I say, the best place to understand that is by going directly to the Ansible documentation. So definitely go through the documentation, see all the different parameters that we have available for all the different options. Use this new built lab that we have now created as your own little testing grounds and just give it a bit of practice to build familiarity. Okie dokes, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. For